what is going on guys welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this logo reveal effect inside of after effects so the first thing that we got to go ahead and do is mask out our logo here so i'm going to go ahead and do is go up here to the ellipse tool and if it's not on the ellipse tool and maybe like the rectangle tool or whatever then you want to go ahead and left click it just hold it down and then it'll bring up this little panel here and then you just want to select the ellipse tool and then let's just create an outline around here if you hold shift on your keyboard while dragging it'll create a perfect circle and also so I want to be able to see everything. So I'm going to bring this mask to none. So now we can drag this around and pretty much just align it around the logo here. It doesn't have to be too perfect, but you do want to make sure that it is uh, outlining the whole logo here. So that looks pretty good. So now what we want to do is right click this mask here, hit track mask, and then go over to this panel and just hit track forward. So now it's going to do its job and pretty much track forward. As you can see, it did a pretty good job, but it kind of like drifted off here, but I think that will be fine. I don't think we'll have to really worry about that too much. So we'll see once we apply the effects. But if it doesn't look good, then we'll have to remask it. But I think it should be fine for this. So now that you have your mask tracked, you just want to go back to the mask here and bring this to subtract. So now your logo is gone here. And you just want to go over here to content aware fill. And I would just recommend copying the settings I have for this content aware fill. So you can pause the video really quick and just copy down what I have. And before you start generating your fill layer, you want to make sure that your work area is only selected for your clip here. So just drag that so it's only selecting your footage because we have this on work area so when we select that then it will only use this work area right here which is our footage so now that we have that we can go here and hit generate fill layer and this may take a while depending on how long your clip is but as you can see it's going pretty fast so it should be done any second now and there we go now when we play this back you should see that there is no logo there now we want to go ahead and duplicate our bottom layer hit Control d and let's just bring that bottom layer up to the top then you want to hit m on your keyboard to bring up the mask and let's just bring this to add now so now we can see the logo is back there now this is where we can apply our different effects. There's a ton of different effects that you can use for this logo reveal. I actually made a preset pack just for this effect that you guys can go ahead and download in the description below. So for the people that actually want to go ahead and use this pack, I'm going to show you guys really quick how to install it and use it. So once you have the pack downloaded, you'll have a folder right here that has nine different effects that you can apply. And if you want to import them into After Effects, all you have to do is go into your local disk and then program files, Adobe, and then find Adobe After Effects. I'm just on Adobe After Effects 2022 right now. And then you want to go to support files and then presets. And then once you're there, you just want to drag the logo reveal presets into this folder. But I already imported the folder into here, so I don't want to duplicate it. So I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of there. But once you have them in here, you just want to go ahead and restart After Effects. And it should be in your effects and presets right here. You just want to go to animation presets and look for logo reveal. And they'll all be right here. You just want to go to the start of your clip. And then let's just drag on like blob red reveal here. And as you can see, it literally does all the work for you. So it's super easy. Everything is keyframed. Um, there's tons of different ones to choose from. This Luma fade is pretty cool. There's also this like blob glitch reveal, which I think looks pretty cool. I really like how that one looks. So yeah, there's tons of different ones to choose from. You can just mess with them and just experiment with them and see which ones you like. All right, so now that I've shown you guys how to use my logo reveal presets, I'm not gonna show you how to create one. So I'm just gonna go to the effects and presets and search up turbulent displace right here. Bring this onto our clip and make sure that turbulent displace is on the top layer right here. And we wanna go to the size and bring this down to 15. And then you can mess with the amount here. I'm gonna go to like negative 2000 and then keyframe the amount at the start of your clip and then let's just go towards the end here and bring this down to zero and let's hit U on our keyboard and that'll bring up the keyframes right here and you just want to select those two that are for the amount and just hit F9 to easy ease them. Go into the graph editor and then create a graph that looks something like this. So now when we play this back, you can see that we get this super clean effect that reveals the logo right here. I'm now gonna go ahead and add some glow. So I'm gonna search up glow and let's just use the default glow and let's bring the glow threshold down to like 25%. Glow radius, let's bring that up quite a bit to around 70. And if you want to, you can mess with the different colors here. You can change the original colors to A and B colors and we can use like a light blue and for color B, we can change this to maybe a little bit of a darker blue. And then we want to have the glow intensity to start at 1.5. So let's hit a keyframe on that. And then let's go towards when the animation ends. 
maybe like right here and bring this down to zero. And there we go. That is how you create this animation. It's pretty simple. It doesn't require any plugins. And once again, if you do want to download my presets, it'll be linked down in the description below. And all of the presets that are for this logo reveal don't require any plugins or any extra effects. They're all built into After Effects. So it's super simple and easy to use. And I'm not going to go too in depth in how I created all of them just because that will take a lot of time. So if you guys do want to go ahead and download that, I would really appreciate it. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.